feeling super hopeful, but we'll see. ignore all the mess because we're currently packing to go to town this weekend but i just have to share this one because this is the exact same outfit i wore in the last vlog working out so i already know don't worry all my shit's in the wash so this is what we're working with but connor and i are going to the gym pretty quick and we're gonna do like a leg day hit workout so cardio and legs emphasis but this sports bra my mom just got it for me. If you're a girl with a big chest with tiggle bitties, you know what I'm saying? This sports bra is so amazing. It's from the brand She Fit. This is not sponsored, by the way. I just have to share it because it's so amazing. Like, first of all, it has this zipper on the front, which I feel like is so nice because sometimes sports bras are just so hard to get into when you have, like, such big boobs like I do. And then it also has a strap in the back that is adjustable, so you can, like, strap it in like that. And of course you put in your bra size and like your band size and everything but that just makes it even easier because then i can really like cinch it in as tight as i want and then this is the best part is they have these straps right here on the like on the straps and they're velcro so you can literally pull them up as tight as you want and it just like pulls everything up there and so like when i'm jumping like that like my boobs stay in place which again if you are a part of the big titty committee then you know working out can be so hard sometimes like going for runs doing anything where you're like moving up and down jumping you're not just like more static it's so hard because it's like having these like boulders on your chest that are just like bouncing up and down and it hurts so anyways this is definitely a little bit more of an investment i think it was like 75 or 80 dollars for a sports bra but again, like I have Lululemon sports bras that cost like $60. So it's really not that much more for something that's like so incredible for the purpose of working out. So anyways, I just had to share that with you guys. If anybody else is in the market for a sports bra. And honestly, even if you don't have big boobs, I feel like this is still good because it just really sucks everything in place. But especially for my big boobed girls, it's really amazing. So anyways, like I said, going to go work out and
four items from Trader Joe's that I currently cannot stop eating. First of all, these sour jelly beans. I'm not really a jelly bean girl. I'm gonna be honest, like I've never really liked them. But I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I was looking for the sour Scandinavian swimmers because one thing about me, I love sour candy like so much. And for literally the last like two or three months, my Trader Joe's has been out of the Scandinavian swimmers, the sour ones, which are probably my favorite candy on the planet. And so I was asking one of the workers if they had them and he said no. But he said, if you're looking for something sour, then these are a good alternative. You guys, these are insanely sour. It's kind of like a warhead, like where they make your mouth water. They're so sour, but they're so good. I literally can't stop eating them. Also in the candy kind of section, dessert section, Trader Joe's makes scotcheroos now. And if you don't know what a scotcheroo is, you're missing out and you need to run to Trader Joe's and get one of these. Basically, they call them chocolate coated peanut butter crispy rice bites. It's basically a peanut butter rice crispy treat with chocolate on top. Literally so good. My mom has always made scotcheroos. That's what we call them. My mom has always made them growing up. And I think she puts butterscotch in them. I don't think these have butterscotch, but they're still just as good. And they're individually wrapped, which is really nice because this is just so easy. Like I'm gonna take these on the plane with me today why not then the other thing is these bear bells chocolate cookie dough specifically connor likes the oh it's upside down wait no wait that's right side up it's just backwards um the chocolate chip cookie dough is my or the chocolate cookie dough whatever this one is is my favorite and connor's favorite is the cookies and cream but these are such good protein bars and they have 20 grams of protein with no added sugar and they literally taste like a candy bar i don't know how they do it i'm not even kidding like you would be if you have not tried these before you will be shocked how good they taste and they're pretty good for you like i think there's definitely like a stevia type of something in there there's no way they taste this good with no sugar but you know what i'm rocking with it they are so good and they're so filling i literally will eat one of these as a dessert at night because they're so good they're kind of expensive but i would rather have this than like a crusty dry protein bar last thing i grabbed these at the checkout like as i was in line because i saw them and i said oh, i need to try those these everything but the bag or no everything bagel sandwich crackers so it's these like tiny let me grab one it's these like tiny like cheese crackers you know those ones like you know the vibe these tiny little cheese filled crackers they're so good they're so garlicky and cheese they're literally so amazing i just had to share that with you guys because those are the things that i'm loving so much from trader joe's the other thing that i'm loving and i just ran out this morning so i can't show you chobani vanilla greek yogurt greek yogurt in general i'm just on a greek yogurt kick i literally cannot get enough of it i eat like two cups a day i swear i eat it on my oatmeal in the mornings i put it in my smoothies i eat it as a snack i eat it for dessert I crave Greek yogurt constantly. That's been like a recent development within the last like two weeks, but it's so good. I recommend getting plain Greek yogurt. Stay with me. I know that sounds gross. Plain Greek yogurt and put honey on top. And then you can put like granola or berries or whatever, but it's so much less sugar and it tastes just as good. I know I said Chobani vanilla, which is sweetened and it just is another level of good. But if you're looking for like a healthier option with less sugar, plain greek yogurt lots of honey on top it's so good like like i said breakfast lunch snack dessert it's everything i need to pack connor and i are going out of town today because his sister is getting married which is so freaking exciting and connor and i are flying to the wedding actually because it's on the other side of the state like we live in eastern washington the wedding is on the west side and it would be like a six hour drive for us to get over to where the wedding is and so connor's parents are amazing and they booked us flights to go over there which is going to save us so much time because like i said the drive would be like six hours but the flights are only going to be like two hours we have two flights we have to take a connecting flight to like a really small airport that's amazing but we are leaving on the late flight to seattle so we are leaving our apartment at like 7 7 7 15 and then we're driving to the airport it's only like a 15 minute drive from where we live and then it's such a small airport we don't have to get there super early and i think our flight leaves at 8 45 or something like that but i need to pack because like i said it's for the wedding so i have to bring a rehearsal dinner dress a dress for the wedding and then just like outfits for the rest of the weekend and it's really comfy and casual vibes but i still want to look nice because you know what i've been realizing the phrase look good feel good is so true 
I don't think there's anything wrong with that and admitting that because whenever I dress like today I'm probably I'm sure I gave you guys a little like OTD but I've decided to like do I didn't do any makeup because like I said we're going on a plane but like just putting on a cute outfit and like cute accessories I feel like a different woman today which I normally just wear sweatpants and a hoodie getting ready makes me feel so much better and being with like all of Connor's family and stuff and like it's wedding weekend I feel like I just want to look put together as much as I can all that being said it's about one o'clock right now and we are leaving in like six hours also randomly my dad asked me if i could go test drive a car for him at a dealership here so i might have to go down and do that and it would be like a 20 minute drive away so i need to call him and see if he still wants me to do that because i kind of need to plan accordingly but like i started setting out all my stuff that i'm packing i just need to actually pack it and like finalize what i'm bringing so let's put it up all packed up and ready for the flight I just need to pack a few snacks we are gonna eat dinner before because like I said it's gonna be a late flight it's like an 8 45 p.m. flight or something like that so we're gonna eat dinner before we get on the plane but I'm gonna bring some snacks just in case because whenever I'm on a plane or in an airport I just am in the snackiest mood and like all I want to do is be eating like chips or pretzels or like something you know so anyways right now it's 2 p.m and i'm gonna go and test drive a car for my dad he found one that he really wants and it's at a dealership out here in spokane and obviously since he doesn't live here he can't test drive it and he kind of thinks that if i don't go and test drive it and like tell him how the car is it might get sorry my ac is probably so loud but anyways he thinks the car might get snatched up off the lot if i don't go and check it out so i'm gonna go out to the dealership it's like a 20 minute drive um, and I told my dad, I'm like, I honestly don't know the first thing about test driving a car. Like, I went with Connor when Connor bought his car and test drove it, but I, Connor was there and he knew what he was looking for and everything. And I've never had to, like, test drive a vehicle that I'm thinking about buying. Not that I'm buying it, but you know what I mean. Anyways, my dad gave me, like, a list of things I need to look for, so I'm gonna go out there and do that and come back. And like I said, we're gonna make dinner and... Then we'll go. I'm really excited. I know we're only flying across the state. It's not like we're doing a big flight or anything, but I don't know. Just getting on a plane is still so fun and like, I'm really excited. And I'm excited to see all of Connor's family. So I'm excited. How many times can I say that? Let's go test drive this car. Sorry, the air conditioning is so loud. I forgot I had this in the fridge and I've been craving the coke. So I'm gonna treat myself and have one. This is our bottle opener. We got it at Connor's sister's bachelorette party. Cheers. But that would be messed up because they're my favorite. We're gonna cook these at the end though. These are like the best ever from Trader Joe's. They're so good. I'm really doing like a whole Trader Joe's favorites. Because, because I talked about the jelly beans and the protein bars. Mm -hmm.
I did a vlog yesterday, like I vlogged my day yesterday. So I'm, I guess I'll continue it. Yay! Today. Wedding weekend. Ew, I don't like doing that. Why did I just do that? Welcome to the oh, I'm so jealous you guys are going to this. I tell Connor all the time. Let me put this in. Oh, this one's a really good review. Starting route to Stomping Grounds Coffee Co. It's so pretty here. What kind did you get? I got a pink lotus with strawberry and coconut. I actually, when you girl. said lotus, I was thinking of getting one. But I've just and been you craving. You used to get lotus in high school. I know, I've been craving coffee. a coffee. But I might have to come back and get a lotus. It's so good. Maybe tomorrow I will actually. Yeah, Ellie said we in the morning she one. wants like coffee, 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 coffee. We should come super early and well, whatever time this place opens. Wedding season, wedding weekend. Wedding weekend. I got a caramel, which I have not gotten a caramel latte. I don't actually know if I've ever gotten a caramel latte, but it just that sounded really good. Better. I saw it on the menu. Caramel latte with oat milk. And it's really, really good. Yeah. It's a little sweet for me, I like You know what? It's fine. Okay. I just have to go back to the menu. Yeah, I don't know how to get back there. It's so bright. 